This is just a quick video to show you uh, a problem and how to overcome it. If you have an electronic device that doesn't use much power, this taps to be a MIDI musical instrument that's powered by a USB lead. One convenient way to power it is to use a, a mobile phone battery bank. Now the problem with a mobile phone battery bank is, although it's really convenient and you can get all sorts of different types, is um, they're too clever in that when it thinks the, bat the phone is nearly fully charged, so the current draw through the USB lead is very low, it thinks, ah, the phone's charged, so I need to turn off, and it will turn itself off. Now, obviously, if you're using it to power something else, um, that's inconvenient. So there's two solutions for this. One is there is one company that make a phone battery power bank with an always-on feature, and it's used for things like time-lapse photography cameras and things and it has a little switch by each port and they just stay on no matter what. However, if you've already bought your power bank, um, there is a device, it's there, it's made, I think there's probably more than one out there, but the one I've just got, which is available as a kit or ready built, is from this company and I just assembled this from a kit. And what it does is, if you plug it between your USB power bank, and the LED comes on, that's showing that it's working. If I then plug my device in, that I'm wanting to power, you'll see it starting to power up. And then what you do is, um, leave it like that, because what it, it's actually doing is every few seconds or fractions of a second, it's drawing a high current, relatively high, just for a moment, every now and then, and it tricks this into staying on without just draining it really rapidly either. And what you do is you start it off with this tiny little adjuster screw here, fully anti-clockwise. And just leave it for maybe 10 minutes and if it doesn't go off that's fine. If it turns off um, you need to make it draw a little bit more current to trick this into staying on because there's differences in the minimum current at which point this turns off. So then you using a very small electrical screwdriver in here you turn that clockwise and then leave it again and you do that until it, it just draws enough current in this little pulsatile manner to keep it on for your particular power bank. Now this is set at the lowest setting at the moment and it seems to be working fine. Um, but the good thing is it has this adjustability. So for me it gets around this problem of powering a low current device from a mobile phone power bank.